Things are really hotting up at the box and the beautiful Russi Forrester is packing his bags for Munster. Rumor has it that Thor Ninaba is going to follow him to Ireland. <laughs> and then over at the Department of Sports and Recreation, Sally Spectra has blocked <laughs> SA Rugby's bid for the 2023 Rugby World Cup. I think maybe let's leave Fakile for another episode, but sure, Russi's exit... All jokes aside, it's a massive withdrawal of IP from South African rugby. Yeah, look, that's no laughing matter, and we're going to have to wind that chuckle in because it's yeah, yeah. no, it's a biggie. So, <laughs> I think um, w w what Rassi did was de facto became director of rugby at, yep. at, in, in South African rugby, because you know Sorry or SA Rugby <laughs> is actually about governing freaks like Fikile. You yeah. know, um, it's a sideshow Bob kind of environment. So what Rassi has done is bring a rugby element to sorry. Wow, who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is there room for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you would hope. Yeah. And for me, the, so he's put some sensational structures in place and yeah. he must take enormous amount of credit for that. For me, w w what it showcases is that he was allowed to step away from the game, yeah. put some thinking behind it, um, get some other coaches who are also not at the coalface, create this Moby unit, uh, which everyone sort of laughed at the beginning, but has become so important in that it, 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 it's, we've now got a, uh, an awesome way to track players. They built that sort of technology. Yeah. Um, we've got specialist coaches that not only coach players, but other coaches. Um, and, and, and we have, we, you know, we have a thought process that goes into the actual rugby that we're playing between the white lines. Um, and th that has been absolutely brilliant for South African rugby. He, you know, as a coach, he did some excellent things, but you know, he also, he doesn't like the limelight. He's yeah. not especially happy in front of a, of a camera. Yeah. This is kind of his role. Oh, but now, now what do you do? That's exactly right. I mean, where are you going to find another guy? I don't know if you saw last week, they, they signed up with Kitman Labs. It's that sports technology company in the saw States. Yeah. They do that athlete uh, evaluation system. Uh, it's just next level thinking. I mean, it's, it's really got uh, the potential to take the box to the next level as an as a international force again. I don't know where you find somebody else who's going to fill that void that, that, that Rusty holds now. Yeah, it's particularly tricky. I mean, he, he, he has a unique set of skills. Um, I think, you know, the part of this becomes then coaching development. So there's been a lot of talk about how, you know, our player conveyor belt is really good. Sure. And, you know, you can even have conversations where you, you don't need to pick overseas base players because of that. I'm not saying it's right. Yeah. And people will disagree. Sure. But potentially, you know, that is in place. Right. However, Suddenly, the beginning of last year, we had no coaches for three, four of our, of our Super Rugby franchises. So what are we doing to develop coaches? And I think what, what Rassi's done, apart from, from implementing systems to track players, is yep. start some sort of system where we get de uh, development of coaches. The, the, the tricky part there is that you want your guys like Nollis, like Flecky, like Franco, like Dobbo, to actually be coaching, yep. but they must be convened every now and then and, and, and kept on a single path, which is another thing that Rassi has introduced via this mobile unit and that is that those are the things that we really need to keep in place yeah i know that they were working on a grassroots coaching uh, program to basically take the rb level one and two and have a side shoot that goes through sa rugby to work on some basic sort of tactical and technical philosophies there before heading back to the rb3 looked like an amazing program and it talks to exactly what you were trying to achieve there Exactly. And, um, and you know, not only perhaps not only technical, but cultural, yeah. you know, like the Kiwis have got a rugby culture. Yeah. South Africa's a rugby culture. It's not, <laughs> maybe not necessarily right. right. Um, but also the nuances, the South African nuances, like um, Zwanili Stick is coming through the system as a development coach. Um, you know, there's something different about South Africa. So I think that's great. Yeah. And we've got to keep something like that where you come through the official systems, but then you also have a little bit of a South African slant to it. Yeah. Speaking of nuances, our question of the week. Uh, st stats are a good starting point, says Andy Campbell, but maybe you don't really talk to the, to the nuances of the game. I mean, I think it's a great question because, you know, obviously Vodacom custodians of the stats in South Africa, we've changed the dialogue on how we, how we talk rugby in South Africa, and I think that's awesome. Right. But Andrew is 100% spot on. I mean, stats are one thing, and it's a great way to, to keep an eye on a, on a database and a, and, a, and a broad spectrum of players. But as a coach, as a manager, it's heart, it's gut. Ask Johan Ackerman, you know. So while the stats tell you one story, perhaps a base level story, right. you've still got to understand the game, know the players, um, balance of players. If you've got the best uh, open side flank in the world, but, you know, he punches the loose head prop at practice every Monday, sure. I mean, maybe he doesn't get the get number for that. Yeah, there's no stat for that. Um, so it's about balancing a team and, and getting the most out of a group of 23 players, and that takes intuition, gut, and skill. Right. Um, 
But I love the fact that stats are becoming mainstream in South African uh, understanding of, of, of rugby and by South African fans because it takes uh, the level of, of, of conversation right up there, which is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's all the drama for this week, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. Hit us up with your questions on Twitter using the hashtag ThinkTank. And until next time, ciao.